Hello, this is Wizworld 100. You're the viewers and I'm the reviewer. It's Valentine's Day and I got something for you. A short and sweet review of Electric Super Joy. What's Electric Super Joy? It's a brutal hard action platformer where you try to survive making it from one point to another. Avoiding frogs, missiles, sunny Ds, collecting stars to unlock more levels, fighting bosses at the end of each level, and all this crazy nonsense to get rear revenge on the wizard for your butt. That's right. The story is to get rear revenge for your butt. There are modes you can play, achievements you can unlock, and for replay value where you can try to speedrun the levels and get the gold time, some of which are ridiculous to get, because as the game goes on it just gets unfairly and unforgivingly hard with frame perfect jumps, you'll discover it's instant death if you touch the edge of the screen with no buffer, you'll find that level that rotates and twisting your neck to beat it, hit detection that's more against you than anything else in the game, and the smash attack having no splash damage which would have been nice. The praise this game gets is not entirely undeserved. However, most people seem to be ignoring the problems and almost to the point of sucking up. But surely there are good things in this game, otherwise I would not have beaten it. And yes, there are good things and that I'm a masochistic gamer. So let me tell you, now listen up. I hope you've got headphones on because you'll be listening to the sounds of men and women moaning and groaning as you check their points and attracting everyone else's stares if you don't. But you'll also be listening to the sweet ass music which for the majority of them is pretty cool that you can also buy and download the track along with the DLC. Despite being unfair at points, the levels are at least short and for the most part designed well and varied, and the gameplay is simple. Perhaps almost too simple to a fault. Now while the graphics don't share the same uniqueness in design, the look is simple and very indie-like. It reminds me of Limbo, and that's okay. What I'm trying to get at is that it's not bland at all. And while not exactly a praise, this game plays better on a controller than the keyboard, which had a small delay that made the platforming not feel as accurate, and that was an issue. Speaking of issues... The other issue I notice is that while the level design for the most part is decent, the control over your character kind of conflicts with the level with what he can and can't do. It has me screaming and yelling all night long when I die from jumps that are stretched to its limits, your character being slow with no run or dash button, the edge of the screen giving no buffer time to survive for even a second or two, sometimes the hit detection is too spot on and I get killed or slip off platforms, and the level that rotates the screen by 90 degrees is the worst idea. Let's be honest. So, would I recommend a Night of Electric Super Joy? I would recommend it more if it was on sale. While the soundtrack is pretty sweet and it keeps you going and playing, and it almost makes the game worth the $8.99 you'll be paying for, if you're trying to look for a good time to enjoy playing a game, the gameplay will probably frustrate you in ways that you will not enjoy. Yes, it's supposed to be difficult, but I did not feel that the game is firm but fair as it went on. And I hate to do this because I know one of the creators of the game and they're nice people. But I wouldn't recommend this game unless it was on sale, and even then you'd need to be a masochistic gamer with patience to enjoy a night of electric super joy. Special thanks to Cassie Chu who provided the game for me to play as she's one of the creators of the game. I was fully expecting to enjoy every single moment of this game because I knew nothing of it. But I hope you and your friends got something out of it that is not rage against my opinions, and maybe next time I could help with some playtesting on it. So until then, this is Wizware 100. You're the viewers and I'm the reviewer, so stay tuned for more. Happy Valentine's Day.
Hey guys, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want more than you can see here, be sure to check out my Facebook and Twitter for updates on reviews and videos. And if you want to help me out, I have a Patreon account. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my YouTube channel and join my Lazy Work Legion for more video game content for you to watch. Such as the videos I'm showcasing right now. Be sure to give a like and comment for feedback and check out my site LazyWorks Creations and River City Gamers for more content like mine. Links to all that goodness is right in the description or click the annotations if you're watching on YouTube. I fully intended to enjoy- <laughs> God, that's so dumb! Ah. Uh.